Hi there, Derek here. We just had our weekly Q&A and there's a few questions um, that came up that you might be interested in. They're all this week more of a sort of in lower intermediate level. So during the video, I'll speak a little bit slower to help learners of that level. Uh, we'll get on to a few simple formulations and we end up taking a bit of a detour into why intonation is important. Hope you enjoy it. And this next question is, is sort of interesting. It says, which one is correct? This bag is mine or the bag is mine? They're kind of both correct, depending on the context. The difference between, uh, we have this, that, these, and those. And so this refers to, I'll say, say this, this mug. It's something close it's one thing this and it's close to me that i can refer to this specific mug um if there was several i had i could say these if it's a long way away i can say that that house point across the field or those houses across the field so when we say this bag is mine we're talking about a specific bag that probably in my hand that I'm holding, um, and that's the one I mean. If we're talking about the bag is mine, we're not really referencing it, we're not pointing to it. Maybe talking about it, someone might say, someone, someone left a bag in the back of the car, any ideas who it is? I mean, oh yeah, uh, the, the bag is mine. So we're not kind of pointing to it or referencing it sort of, directly with our fingers we're just talking about it and we say the, the bag meaning a specific one and the last one is to do with inter inter interrogative pronouns and one of the examples i put in in the lesson it was you're wearing what to the party and the questioner says that doesn't really seem right he thinks the correct sentence should be what are you wearing to the party? And his example is still correct, but it's not the same meaning. So if we look at what are you wearing to the party, that's a fairly neutral question. There's no um, preconceived ideas. There's no uh, thoughts about what should be worn or, or what you shouldn't wear. It's just a neutral question. What are you wearing to the party? For the example in the lesson, which was you're wearing what to the party? This is the context of this would be when someone goes into their room to get ready and they come out and you think that what they're wearing is not suitable or appropriate for the party and you're showing your surprise and, and the fact that you think it's bad by saying you're wearing what to the party? Like, oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> Go and change. And that's the difference. And again, it's to do with intonation and which words you stress and emphasize. And if you think, oh, does it matter which word we stress or emphasize? Yes. And as a classic example of this, where the sentence is, I didn't say you stole my wallet. And depending on which word you emphasize in this, I didn't say you stole my wallet, you can change the meaning hugely just by emphasizing a different word. And I'll show you what I mean. That I didn't say you stole my wallet. Oops. Someone else said it. it wasn't me. I, I, I didn't say it. Um, if you, I, I didn't say you stole my wallet, that's just emphasizing the negative. You could say, I didn't say you stole my wallet. You did. I just never said it. Yeah. Well, I didn't say you stole my wallet. I, I said someone else stole it. Well, I didn't say you stole my wallet. Maybe you found it, but you still have it. Yeah. If we just carry on down the list to finish it. I didn't say you stole my wallet. You stole someone else's wallet. 
And the last one would be, I didn't say you stole my wallet. No, you stole my watch or stole something else of mine. And so intonation is important. And this brings us back to the question, which is the, the intonation of the sentence. So what are you wearing to the party is a neutral way of phrasing it. And you're wearing what to the party is a very negative way of phrasing it, indicating criticism. So that was our brief extract from this week's Q&A. If you have a question of a similar nature, please use the comments below, ask your question, you will get an answer. And if you're interested in seeing the complete Q&A, there's a link below to the membership site. Everyone is more than welcome. Hope to see you there.